Well, agents tell me they can't fix this problem, and those who can won't, that being Congress. Some new video from South Texas showing agents apprehending 271 migrants who, because of loopholes, they can't deport, though most have no legal right to be here. President Trump complained about it yesterday, blaming Democrats on Capitol Hill for putting politics before policy. We could solve the entire problem. I say 45 minutes, but it could go a lot quicker than that. If the Democrats would agree to do certain basic common sense things with respect to our laws. A new caravan moving through Mexico with many jumping on the beast, a huge freight train to avoid police who have begun cracking down on migrants without papers. But the caravan still reportedly numbers over 7,000. If we travel by bus, they are going to pull us out and deport us to our country. So that's why we decided to travel by train. Also yesterday, President Trump threatened to send armed U.S. troops to the border and close any part of the border where their caravan attempts to enter. The U.S. currently 5,000 troops assisting border agents with enforcement. They helped us uh, repel uh, two attempts by a caravan to enter the United States by helping us fortify ports of entry. Uh, that, that's been an absolutely essential partnership. So the other part of this, the administration yesterday offered a 5% retention bonus for veteran agents willing to serve another year. Also, the agency is down from 22 to 19,000 agents right now, Bill, and they're offering a hiring incentive to get people to serve in those remote, remote areas, Lordsburg, Ajo, Arizona, that it's difficult to keep agents.